Welcome, dear viewers, to our captivating discussion on the fascinating branches of science. Today, we embark on an intellectual journey through the realms of knowledge, exploring the diverse and wondrous fields that shape our understanding of the world around us. Science, the pursuit of truth through observation, experimentation, and reasoning has been the guiding light of human progress for centuries. It has then revealed, unraveled mysteries, challenged conventional wisdom, and brought us closer to comprehend, comprehending the intricate fabric of existence. Just like this magnifying glass, this allows us to zoom in on the tiniest details each branch of science provides a unique lens through which we can understand specific aspects of our universe. So let's start. Our topic for today, it's the branches of science. And here, science or the natural science involves the following major studies. One of that is the physical science, second, earth, or geology and even space science are also known as astronomy and then lastly it's the life science are also known as biology to start with in physical science or physics it involves the following we have the physics and the chemistry so how are we going to differentiate this two even they are under physical science in physics it is the science that deals with the properties, the changes, and even interactions of matter and energy. Here on Earth, you will observe that matter and energy has or it has a relationship with each other. Whenever this matter uses energy, then they are doing some physics. Just like here in the animation, if we're going to calculate for the work done by the person, then you have to somehow consider the force, which includes the energy exerted by the person, and even the distance this object traveled. Now, in terms of the study of or dealing with the composition and properties and even reactions of substances, in chemistry, you will notice that they are some more involving substances that when you combine them together, they are forming somehow a chemical change. So in chemistry, we're going to focus on their properties and even the characteristics of the substances. It also involves the topics about the atom because all elements do have their own number of atoms. So there you go for the physical science remember we have two sub branches namely physics it evolves uh, something to do with the relationship between matter and energy then chemistry if that has something to do with the composition of matter and even its structure second we have the earth geology and space science which is astronomy we're going to add meteorology because somehow it's been part of the earth and space science study and even the oceanography because of its uh, vast uh, study in geology like what i said it deals with a study of the development of earth's crust so in here and even the rocks and fossils in here we're going to focus on the layers of the earth and even the earthquake we're going to study that the fossils anything that goes on here on our earth and even it's how uh this land form or knowing about the uh, continent and drift theory mentioned by alfred wagner Aside from geology, we have astronomy, and the scope of the study deals with the origin, the size, the motion of the stars, and even the planets. 
those are the major things that we can find in our solar system or even in our space. So in here, like what I said, we're going to deal with the planets. Sun is a star, different stars that can be found in our universe, plus other members of our universe, such as or the solar system, such as the asteroid, the meteoroids, and even comets. Their origin and history. In meteorology, doesn't have to do with meteor, but rather it is something to do with our atmosphere and some phenomena that happening in our atmosphere, focusing on the weather. Therefore, it includes the study of typhoon and other weather disturbances that happening in our atmosphere. You may also encounter us discussing the different layers of our atmosphere, their characteristics and properties. And last, under Earth and space science, we have the oceanography from the name itself, ocean, and it deals with the study of the environment that are found in or under water, such as the plants and animals, the different types or kinds of plants and animals found underwater. The oceanography. And last, for the major branch of science, is called the life science, or also known as biology, because bio means life. So in here, we're going to study the botany, the zoology, genetics, and ecology. So these are some examples of the sub-branches. We have lots of, but I just chose these four for us to study. So for botany, it is a science that deals with the plants and even their life. We're going to talk about their cells what makes it different from animal cells and uh, the different species of plants we're going to classify them accordingly under zoology it deals with the study of different animals and their life how they survive in the environment what are the unique characteristics that they have in order to become or classified into different uh, phylum of their kingdom. In genetics, it is the branch of science or biology that deals with the study of heredity, the variation in animal and plant species. You will understand why people are different from each other in terms of their characteristics and you will also understand that all of those information like a blueprint is already in their dna all organisms do have their own dna and lastly ecology it's the branch of biology that deals with the relations between living things and their environment you will encounter encounter a studying the relationship between the animals living or any organism that lives in their environment together with the relationship between living things and non-living things so now to review the natural science or the branches of science for today's video, remember that we have three major branches. Those are called the physical science, the earth and space science, and of course, life science. And under physical science, we deal with physics. If has something, it has something to do with the relationship between matter and energy, and chemistry if it has something to do with the composition, the structure of the substances or matter. In Earth and space science, under this is uh, geology or the study of the Earth. Geo means Earth. 
astronomy or the study of the um, universe anything or any heavenly bodies their origin meteorology if it has something to do with the weather and its phenomena or our atmosphere and its phenomena and of course oceanography all the things that we need to know whether that's plants and, or animals that lives in their water and lastly we have the life science or also known as biology and under this the study of of uh, plants which is botany the study of animals different kinds of animals such as or wherein it is called zoology genetics and ecology genetics deals with the heredity characteristics of living things ecology focusing on the living things or interaction between living things and non-living things and that's it for our lesson today i hope you learned something from our uh, topic all about the branches of science so see you again next time for some more topics goodbye